If you have a Hive Manager NG on-premise installation, every time you access the web interface you will see this error saying that your connection is not secure. In this video I'm gonna show you how to get the web certificate signed by your local certificate authority so that the web browser can verify the web certificate of the Hive Manager NG using the root CA of the local certificate authority. The first step is to install the root certificate in all the domain laptops. I think you have already done this step through the group policy. If not, we can manually install it as well. That's what makes this process easier because every computer in your domain has the root certificate so it can verify any certificate that is signed by the root CA. The second step is to generate a certificate signing request from the high manager ng and send it to the root certificate uh, authority, uh, the Windows 2012 server, and get it signed in the step three and get it back and install it in the high manager ng. And then, when somebody access the web, web interface of the high manager ng, the step four occurs. The high manager ng web interface send the signed certificate to the web browser and the web browser already knows the root ca so it can verify the web server certificate and then it will give you the green https sign saying this certificate is okay and uh, i trust the high manager ng web server here i have logged into the high manager ng you need to go to the settings, the gear wheel here. Find the link which says HTTPS certificates. Here you need to generate the certificate signing request. Yeah, common name. It's Hive Manager NG1114. So, .testnet a .local. Click save. That will generate the certificate signing request save the file yeah. now that's downloaded to the downloads folder then you can see this file now we are going to get the certificate signing request signed by the root certificate authority which is the windows 2012 server in this example make sure that you have installed the web enrollment and then the Chrome browser will still give you an error if you use SHA-1 to sign. So in this case I selected SHA-256 and if you have already installed the certificate authority you can check this by going to tools, certificate authority, go to properties your certificate is signed by SHA-256. The next step is to convert the certificate from DER to uh, Base64. For that we are going to use OpenSSL. This command OpenSSL convert DER to PEM and I'm going to do this using the shell in the macOS. And this is the certificate signing request we generated from the high manager ng and it will output a PEM certificate. Click that. Yeah, no error. Then if you go back to the download folder, you can see there's a new certificate. And if you open it with say text edit, you can see the certificate. This is what we are gonna copy and paste into the Windows Server web interface for signing certificates. You can enter the IP address of the Windows Server here. Just go to CVRTSRV. Here you see several options. We want to request a certificate. We will select advanced certificate request. Paste the certificate we just generated, the signing request. Select uh, web server, yeah, that's it, and then submit. 
right now you have your certificate signed dr format just download the certificate right this is the certificate signed certificate that you're gonna upload to high manage ng so let's rename that file to I manage ng test file we also want to download the root CA certificate download CA certificate download the CA certificate right another CR file we will rename it to be the CA certificate so these are the two certificates we need we will upload this one back into the high manager ng and this one we need to install it in all the client devices i have the two certificates here if you open the ca certificate and go to the certification path you can see that it's the root ca there's no tree here that this certificate is at the top and then if you open the signed certificate for the high manager ng and check the certification path you will see that that was signed this is the certificate it was signed by the root ca we are back to the high manager ng page now http certificate and now we need to upload it so what we need to upload is the high manager ng certificate not the root certificate and save you will not see any progress bar or anything but if you upload try to upload the wrong certificate it will give you an error the next step is to install the root CA certificate in all the clients. I will start with the MacBook. Go to Finder, find the keychain, access, open, and then login. Go to Files, Import, and select the CA certificate. It's the CA certificate. Click Open, and you will notice it comes to Certificates and with the red cross. This root certificate is not trusted double click and open this go to trust use the system default for web access we only need to enable this ssl select always trust and then if you refresh the certificate is trusted this certificate is has a custom trust setting let's open chrome you can see that the chrome trusts this certificate because the system have the root certificate to verify this. You can check the details here. Yep. Valid certificate secure connection. Let's try Safari next. Good. The certificate is valid. And then let's try Firefox. Yeah. Firefox still says this your connection is not secure because it seems that Firefox have its own list of CAs we need to upload the CA certificate to Firefox separately so go to preferences advanced certificates view certificates this is the list of CAs the Firefox will trust so we need to import our CA yeah, so this is our CA certificate, the one we created, and open. This trust this CA to identify websites. Click OK. All oh, good. Let's try again. Now, Firefox trust the certificate. Here we have a Windows client. In the Windows client, you need to install the root CA manually like this, or you could install the root certificate through the group policy on all the Windows clients. This is the root CA we created. Just need to double click, install, click next and select the root certificate authorities. Click next, click finish, import was successful. And then open the Chrome browser, go to the web page of the ng and uh, this web page is trusted and you can look at the certificate it's valid that's all for the video today 
Thanks for watching.